Hey everybody, it's, I, I know it's been a while, almost a couple weeks I think since I that last did a review, but uh, I'm going to do one this, e <clears throat> this evening that uh, was sent to me by uh, Tony over at uh, Mediocre Reviews and Awesome Brews in our last beer trade. Uh, my first three Floyd's beer, I'm going to do their Black Sun Stout. Now I've looked over the bottle, I don't see any, uh, don't see any ABV listed on the bottle, it's a 650 mil bottle. Uh, the website says uh, it's 6.5%, uh, 50 IBUs, and off the bottle, and same on the website, it says Black Sun has a nose of coffee, roasted malts, and piney hops. This medium bodied stout has a broad depth of maltiness and clean dry finish. December release. So this is about, um, <clears throat> release in December, it's about six months old. Got myself a nice uh, Three Floyds cap. Like I said, I never had a Three Floyds beer before. Tony sent me a couple of them. This one's fairly low ABV. I still got to be job hunting tomorrow, so figured I better drink something pretty low. But let me uh, get this in the glass. Ooh, nice looking beer. Got a good, oh, three fingers of a really foamy uh, light brown head. Uh, mixture of different size bubbles, but mostly really small bubbles. See just a, a hit of red around the base where the glass is thin, but other than that you can't see anything around the edges, you can't see anything through it. Good looking stout, so you get a nose on it. Okay, I'm getting I am getting the pine still, I'm surprised after six months. There's still some uh, some pine in there. Getting some burnt malts, um, burnt roasted malts, slight um, Caramel toffee aroma, um, pine. Like I said, just a little bit of pine, pine ops. A little bit of coffee in there. Um, there almost, almost might be some, some uh, tropical fruit, like a tangerine or something. But it's mostly uh, little cocoa. You're definitely your dark roasted malts, coffee, and and the pine ops. So. We get a taste on this. Wow. Now there's some there's some roasted malts. I mean seriously roasted malts. Some nice bitter black coffee. Chocolate. Little hot bitterness, but not a lot. It's got a very dry finish. Hold on, here comes the train. Let me finish till the till those, uh, the whistles go by. Okay, that was quick. I added just a little more to the glass. Still got a nice, really foamy, uh, small bubble tan head. Again, good, good looking, good looking stout. Like I said it's got a dry finish. Um, there is some sweetness there. Um, but you got a really dry cleansing finish. Maybe little hops in there too. Um, little molasses. Got some some light hints of dark chocolate. Maybe some licorice. But it's mostly those uh, piney hops. I think I'm getting a little more of them. This is near room temperature. It's been out of the fridge a lot. I am getting getting a little more of that like sweet tangerine type uh, citrus flavor seems to be like a medium bodied beer um, very creamy um, good carbonation just smooth and dry it's for a stout this is damn near refreshing actually so let me sit and let this warm up for just a few minutes like I said it's close to room temperature anyway let me sit and let this warm up, and I'll come back after a while with the final thoughts and grade. Uh, okay, I'm back. It's only been 10 minutes or so. Got myself, I don't know. Like I said, I've never seen one before, but three Floyd's cap. Definitely add that to my collection. Um, I've been sipping on this, haven't had any more. I'm going to, got, got the bottle capped. I'm going to throw it in the fridge and finish the rest another time, maybe share it with somebody. It hasn't warmed up a lot. Like I said, it was close to um, close to room temperature. 
But this is one of the, I'm surprised, this is one of the hoppier uh, stouts I've had. It's And <clears throat> for not being an imperial stout, it's one of the, one of the most flavorful I've had. Um, that that nice roasted malt, um, it's it's turned more into a roasted malt than a burnt malt. Um, there's still that um, that cocoa uh, cocoa sweetness, um, still that uh, that little bit of pine and like I said, almost tangerine uh, flavor from the uh, from the hops uh, balances out really nicely. Um, Coffee's received a little bit, a little, te little uh, doesn't seem to be leaving a lot of lacing down the glass, but um, definitely no alcohol legs, but um, this is a darn good beer. I'm going to give it a, uh, the Three Floyds Black Sun Stout. Uh, going to get, uh, it's, it's going to get a good grade. It's going to get a 9.5 out of 10 for me. Until um, next time, everybody, cheers. Keep drinking good beer.